House. Shh. I'm with a patient. Sleep study. You drugged him? I didn't say the study was voluntary. My asthma. They said they'd fix it, but it didn't make any difference at all. Well, sometimes doctors make mistakes. Anna, you need to try twice as hard to fix them. Are you using your inhaler? All the time. Go through one a week. You sure you're using it right? Do I look like an idiot? Nope. Why don't you show me how your inhaler works? Chuck. Uh, what was that all about? You're making chicken recipes. Hi again. I'm sure I could say this without being condescending, but then you get the false impression that I respect you. So you're a kid, you're scared, you're stalling. Grow up. I'm not scared. I'm never scared. See, how juvenile was that? You can't feel pain. Nothing left but pleasure. Why don't you tell me how wonderful that is? It sucks. Better than being in pain all the time. Get in the chair. Every morning, I have to check my eyes to make sure I didn't scratch a cornea in my sleep. Oh, God, stop. I'm in a pool of tears here. I can't cry. Neither can I. Every morning, I check my eyes for jaundice in case the Vicodin's finally shot my liver. I can't run anywhere without examining all my toes for swelling. I can't run. Boys can't hold me for too long because I can overheat. Girls can't hold me for too long because I only pay for an hour. I need an alarm on my watch to remind me to go to the bathroom. Now how many humiliating experiences before I thought of that? Bathroom's 50 feet from my office. Every drink of water, I weigh the pros and cons. After everything I do, I self-check. Mouth, tongue, gums for cuts. Count teeth, check temperature. Finger, toes, and joints for swelling. Skin for bruises. I got shot. I sat on the stove when I was three. Want to see the coil marks? Yeah. You think I'm lying? You think I just want to check out your tuchus, as your people would say? Put her in the chair and run the damn test. If she moves again, give her nitrous. You were shot because of leg pain. You were shot because you're a jerk. Some think the two are connected. Pretzel? Those are gonna show up on my credit card at seven bucks a bag. There's an all-you-can-eat buffet downstairs. Studies show that $10 wine tastes better if you're told that it costs $90. Sure, the same thing must be true of grape soda. Have one. You could toast your pending unemployment. Yes, you can sit here running up my hotel bill, or you can go get the woman of your dreams. I didn't know Angela Merkel was attending the conference. I just spoke with Cuddy. She doesn't think you're reliable, and you will remain friend-zoned until that changes. I can't convince her that I'd change my entire personality in a weekend. Yeah, but you could make the first step. What does she need? Today, a babysitter. What are you thinking about? Fjords. You see, s seriously, I know this is out of your comfort zone, but don't scheme. Don't, yeah. just do the deed. You tell me that I've got to show her I've changed, and yet you act like you don't believe I can. If I can't convince my best friend. I'm sorry, and I, I, I didn't mean, I didn't mean, I didn't mean. You drugged me. <clears throat> She's better off without you. Words can hurt, you know. Hi, honey. 
How's your day? Morning. First of all, my bad. I've gone through this whole thing recently. I don't want to bore you. Short version. I'm really trying to do work on some stuff. This is a definite setback. Although, in fairness, you really did make it tough. Phantom pain, your missing arm, five different kinds of painkiller in your medicine cabinet. That's what this magic box of neurological trickery is for. It should be a lot easier if you do what the crazy guy who tied you up says. Put your hand in there. Put your hand in there. Now look. Mirror magic. Your arm is back. Now clench both your fists at the same time. Clench. Real hard. If you believe in God, pray that this is gonna work. You might also want to ask him why you blew off your arm. <laughs> Ready? Now let go. I've been in pain, and it's finally gone. <laughs>